1987, Spaniard and Indian produce a mestizo. The title comes from this writing right here, which is uh, part of the painting. The context for this is that when the Spanish settled the New World, they took with them part of their culture. And part of their culture was that Spani Spaniards had been since the uh, 1400s obsessed with purity of blood. And this comes from a belief that Catholics in Spain did not want to be married to a Jewish former Jewish or former Muslim person who converted to Catholicism, but who wasn't really sincere about it. And so when the Spaniards went to the New World, they took with them this obsession about their purity of their culture, their blood, and they created an entire labeling system for everyone who lived in the New World. So for example, on the very top were people who were called peninsulars. These are people, Spanish, who were born in Spain, got on a boat, went to the New World. Then there are Creoles, who were people that were born in the New World, but their parents were Spanish. And these folks who were Spanish also, but who were born in the New World, were lower on the totem pole so to speak, the social hierarchy than the peninsulares because it was thought, well, if you were born in the new world, there's a tiny, tiny possibility that you might not have the Spanish purity of blood. And then this whole listing of people went down to like 16 different groups of people based on, you know, whether they were Amerindian or black or Filipino marrying with Spanish or whomever. So we end up with all of these different names of people based on their ancestry. So very, um, very racist. Okay, so context for this, other than the fact that Spaniards wanted pure blood in their bloodline, is that the Spanish didn't go to the New World with wives. And so when they arrived in the New World, they married people who were there. And that's how we get a lot of intermarriage. Um, this is contrasted to North America. Here's a painting of the pilgrims. And you can see there are women in this painting here and children. So when North America was settled by Europeans, these Europeans brought their whole families over and then they set up a whole social structure where they didn't want any intermarriage with other races. So that means that all the way through 1967, the United States has had on its law books laws that were uh, against miscegenation, meaning the interracial marriages. It took the uh, Loving versus Virginia court case for intermarriage to be expunged from our social um, <clears throat> so, uh, laws. Okay, so the function then of our piece, our art piece, is that it helps with cataloging the list of people and their various racial groupings in the new world. And that whole cataloging is kind of from a scientific bent that Aristotle started back in 500 BCE. So this interest in cataloging botany, cataloging other animals in the animal kingdom has just, with the Costa paintings, that's what these are called, with the Costa paintings has become um, cataloging of human beings. And it also functions to reinforce the Spanish desire to be dominant in the new world. So the form of these paintings called Costa paintings is that each of the scenes of different intermarriage peoples includes a woman, her husband, and their child. So um, they can also be painted, all 16 groupings can be painted on one painting and labeled, they're always labeled, um, or they can be painted separately. 
So here you see two that are 16 images on each painting, but ours looks more like this right here. This is an individual painting, a uh, separate piece, and this is a um, Spanish man and an Indian woman producing a mestizo is what this says. And this is a mestizo and an Indian producing a mestizo. So what you'll notice here is that not only does it show the mother and father and child, it also shows activities that they would be engaged in. So a Spaniard and a an Indian woman would be living a little more luxurious or you know, wealthy life than say a mestizo and an Indian, right? Who are over here, um, processing their corn. So here is our piece again. The content of this to be pointed out is that we have a uh, European man and he is wearing typical European garb, serious fancy clothing, even got a wig on. And his wife, a an Amer Indian, she has on what's called a uh, hupil dress. This is a one of the you know, the fanciest dress worn by the most wealthy Indians. And um, they're shown here with their child with a little bow in his or her hair. But they're also showing their wealth in terms of they've got a servant in the painting and the servant is actually the one holding the child. Okay, so these are Costa paintings from the New World illustrating the uh, dominance, racism, and categorizing of humanity.